Hi everybody, this is Anna with Luno Solare, and today I'm actually going to make a video to discuss my new deck, Hidden Waters Tarot, that actually was completed in March of this year and has been out for the past couple of months. The reason I'm doing this video is mostly to answer some of your questions that have been coming out about. I've been trying to answer them online um, through emails and on the Hidden Waters website. But I just figured I'd do this video kind of help you guys out a little bit. So the Hidden Waters Tarot came out because, I mean, it was created primarily for myself. And that was because I was trying to access certain aspects of the tarot that I could not necessarily. And that is mostly because I wanted to do readings for myself. And I couldn't really find that objectivity um, when doing that for for my own readings. Um, doing readings for others has always come easy. It was mostly for me. And so I was trying to explore a different visual um, way of, of interpreting the cards and using them and trying to get access to some information that I normally would not. Um, I have had some help in terms of my tarot and understanding throughout the years. And I mean, I've been reading for about 20 years and um, I've, you know, I've always been familiar with the tarot. I've been doing readings. I knew the traditional interpretations of the reading of the tarot cards. And a couple of years ago, as I was looking through um, the YouTube community and trying to expand my knowledge for, of reading and actually understanding the tarot cards, I ran across a very famous YouTuber, Kelly Animatics, and she actually had a whole tarot uh, course, and I looked through all those videos, and um, I had this um, immense appreciation of how she presented the videos and 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 gave a different uh, life to the to the tarot in general, actually explaining the cards and the and the the storyline throughout the, the deck, introducing uh, different meanings that I didn't really consider before, and seeing actually the deck as a whole. And that goes back to um, how I created this deck. So anyway, this is the deck. This is the deck here. It comes inside this tin. If you've purchased this deck from my Etsy store, this is most likely what, this is what you got. And I chose a tin because it's easier to store your uh, cards in, especially if, you see if you're a woman and you carry them in a bag. You don't want to get them ruined. So a tin made sense to me just to have the storage um, and not have them get ruined. Um, now the, the box itself is fits the, the, the tarot, the standard size tarot deck, and um, it's not you know overly big because I found that the next size up was... It was sliding the cards too much around and it was hitting and I was worried that the cards would get ruined on the margins. So I chose a deck that actually, uh, sorry, a box that actually fit um, the deck. So if you want to store them, put them in a baggie. It comes with a baggie. You know, the, the deck comes with a little baggie. Um, so you can have them in the bag or in the box. And um, I actually just keep them like this and I, you know, store them. Um, there is no booklet for the cards because, like I said, um, I wanted to <laughs> do something a little different. So the cards are based on the Rorschach image principles. If you're familiar with the Rorschach test, you see these images that are mirrored, ink blots, and um, you have to say whatever comes to your mind. So I wanted to create a deck to eliminate the um, visuals of the traditional right away. Um, and the symbology of it, and to see what comes through. So as I was kind of thinking about readings and how um, we go about doing readings, we we all pick and choose certain things. So if you have uh, three different tarot readers looking at three uh, at a spread, you're going to get um, some standard information because they're all going to access you know the cards and they're going to. You know they're going to give you the explanation of the cards of the traditional meaning of the cards, but there's also um, an underlying layer that they access, so their own subconscious, their own interpretation of the cards, 
and that you cannot, that is not the same for every um, tarot reader. Um, and that's what makes a great tarot reader. They are able to not just relate information that is based on the traditional um, meaning of the cards, but also bring their own knowledge and their own intuition to it. So this is what I wanted to do with this deck. I wanted to create images that spoke to that subconscious part that we all have and we're all we all can tap into. And so I created these images. There are 78 images um, in the in the deck. And the way I worked through them was I printed out the major arcana and the minor arcana. And I actually sat with each individual card as I was creating them and processed the card, thought about the meanings, and then created the um, alternate version of it. Um, the cards do have uh, the, the name of the traditional Rider weight at the bottom. And that is if you want to use that system also, you can. So for those of you who've actually read tarot and are familiar with the traditional tarot, then you already have that information stored within you. Um, if I say, uh, for instance, um, tower, the tower card, you're already going to have all that come back to you. You're going to know uh, what it means, um, you know, that it's a total... Uh, change of a system that you're used to. It's uh, starting from scratch, right? If I say the death card, you're either going to think of transformation, rebirth, death. Um, you're going to see it more clearly in your mind and think of the Rider Waite, uh, Rider -Waite uh, version. So I wanted to have that option available for those, of, uh, those people that actually do want to connect the two together. Um, and for the beginners, uh, it's a new system in the sense that it will actually liberate your mind. It will let you see and feel and process a, an image independently of what's out there. So it's going to be your own interpretation to it. And then if you want to move forward, you can actually go and read the traditional meaning of the card and see what it can bring to your reading. So that's kind of how I've used it. I'm going to show you a little bit of the, the cards before, you know, how, how they actually look when they were um, painted. And I'm going to show you the actual cards of the deck. So the deck, again, comes with uh, 78 cards. There's a, a placement card. It's a first edition. This deck is the first edition. Um, there will be a second edition. Um, at the end of this year, I'm going to stop uh, printing these. And actually, depending when the, the, the actual cards will sell out. That's going to be the end of the first edition. And then I'm going to introduce a second edition. And uh, those are going to include cards that I've created, um, but were not included in the deck. So there are options to some of the cards that I, were not in the deck. So I'll show you just a couple of the cards. So this is, for instance, this is the strength card. And this card I'll show you the actual painting of the strength card. All right, so this is the strength card right here. Sorry about the gloss. And this is the, the actual image of the strength card. This is what it looked like. So how I created them was through ink and paint. And I thought about the card, drew, you know, looked at the traditional meanings of the card and the card uh, in the writer weight, and then I did this. I folded it and created a mirror image of it. So these cards are meant to work either way. They are reversible. So this would be the reversed. And this is um, the close-up of the strength card. Now, the, the paintings came out with a lot of texture to them. And I wanted to keep that in the actual deck. So you can kind of see the texture of the paint. Uh, my window is kind of glossing on it, but you can see the texture of the paint. And I wanted to keep that in the deck as well. Now, you know, it's a, <laughs> a, a small card, so you have to like, so you can kind of see, you can see that the texture was kept in the deck. Um, these are the back of the cards. Again, they are the um, reversible. They're not very glossy cards. 
and um, they're standard size and they are um, really easy to shuffle. So I'm going to go through, I'll show you the Ten of Pentacles I think I have here. Alright, so this is the Ten of Pentacles. Right? And this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is how the actual image came out. Where'd the card go? Ah. Here. So the colors, I tried to keep the colors very close to the original. So you can kind of see that they're they're you know very close to it. Again, printing is is very tough. You have to match the colors on the printer with the colors on your computer and um, you know, <laughs> it's a whole process. So I'm going to show you the um, Three of Swords. This is the card for the Three of Swords. And this is the Three of Swords. Now these are very large images. And some of them are larger. You know, I did these, I didn't do this all in one sitting, obviously. I mean, this is an, a very long process. And, um... So again, the cards, here's the card, here's the image. And again, there's like, there's a lot of texture to it. And there's texture to this. So I wanted to keep them very similar. Um, and again, you know, this is, was reversed. The, they were done on this paper because I was trying, I knew I was kind of folding them and I wanted to make sure that the, Images would not rip. So this would be the Page of Pentacles. And this is the page. So this one's a, a smaller paper. Um, so there's the page. Right? So you can kind of see they're reversible. I was writing on them, you know, as I was doing them on page of pentacles. Um, what else do I have here? I have three of pentacles. Three of pen no, that's not the one. This one. Yep, three of pentacles. There's the three of pentacles card versus um, actual size drawing, painting. Yep. And the Emperor, this is the Emperor, and this is the Emperor, right? <laughs> it's kind of, see, and then you can reverse it this way. So again, these cards were meant to help out, okay? so. Who can use these cards? Anybody can use the cards. Um, if you are a beginner, like I said, it's going to help you access certain things that you normally would not. Um, and in a way, you shouldn't be afraid using the cards. Um, there is no right or way of using them in the sense of how, what you see is what you get. Um, if and you're usually you're going to see uh, different things at different times and write those things down and then um, go back and see how you want to um, explore that. They are great for shadow work. Um, and also, I have to say, you know, they're good. I have um, a seven-year-old and I'm not afraid to show her these cards. She actually was with me and saw me when I was creating these and um, they were all, they were both my kids were trying to interpret what they were and you know they were saying what they were seeing my whole house was full of um papers out to dry for a while so um so there's no nudity in the cards um there's no scary visuals for kids if you want to use these for kids you can um they actually like what they see, they you'll, you know, some of them will be like, "Oh, I see a fairy. Oh, I see this." So it's, it's, you know, it's whatever comes to their own mind. Um, and 
why I used the the names at the bottom of the cards. Well, you know, obviously, um, if you are familiar with the, the tarot in general, then, you know, this is going to give you a, a different step in your reading. And um, if you want to use um, numerology, then you have the, the numbers on the cards. If you want to use the Kabbalistic aspects of the um, tarot, then you can because you would have all the information that you need. So there's certain layers that you can go into. I hope this visual has this uh, video has been helpful. And um, if you have any questions, please ask them. Shoot away. I will try and answer them. Um, I hope that um, those of you who have the deck are enjoying it and are having fun with it. And if you are interested in purchasing the deck, it is available on my Etsy site. I will put a link to the Etsy site and you can check it out. So thank you for watching. I hope you um, had fun with the video and have a great day.